Hi guys, Jacinta here and today I'm going to show you how to do broken doll makeup for Halloween or your next costume party. As always, we'll gather what we are going to use. So I have foundation, concealer, primer, the Morphe 39S Such a Gem palette. I also have the Morphe 25L Artist palette because that has a black in it that I want to use, setting spray, some lipsticks, moisturizer, brushes, beauty blenders, setting spray, more brushes are in there, and um, setting powder. So first of all, I'm going to put my foundation on, just like I did in my previous makeup video. Next, I'll put on a bit of concealer, just like I did in the last video, so not much has changed yet. And I have put foundation on my lips because I want to change how they look in terms of where the lipstick goes. It'll make more sense when I get to it. Again, I'm going to grab some setting powder. My brush just broke. And put it on the concealer. So the concealer sets better. Right, now while that sets, I'm going to put on lipstick. I've got a bright pink one this time. You can use any colour you want. So now I'm going to chuck some eyeshadow on, but before I do that, I will brush off this excess powder. So I don't really know how to use eyeshadow to make it look really good, so I just kind of look at the colours. If they look good, I'll put them on. So what I'll do is I'll sw usually swatch it back of my hand, then I'll get another colour. Swatch that next to it. That's a bit of a, that's not a great swatch. But yeah, it looks okay, I think. I don't know. It's just makeup. The goal is to have fun. Yeah, so I guess that looks okay. So I will chuck that on my eyes. I'll just grab a brush I have. And I will start with the light colour first. Tapping the excess powder off. And I'm just going to chuck her on my eyes. And since I'm using this colour as my base, I'm going to get a smaller brush and chuck her under my eyes. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't always do this. I don't really like doing this often because it's such a hassle to get all your makeup off. Right. Then I am going to get that dark purple shade and I am going to put that on the end of my eye. Cool. And now I will get that red color I think it's red, I don't know. Not a makeup artist. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle. And once I've done that, I am going to blend until my arm hurts. Because it's not fully blended until your arm hurts. Also, I've been told I don't know what I'm actually doing. I am not a makeup artist. Now I take my blending brush and blend it till it looks better. I didn't really want it to go out this far, so I could put more foundation on to cover it, but I'm just gonna tap it with a Dirty Beauty Blender, which will hide it a bit. So before I uh, finalize, the eyeshadow, I am going to get a sparkly colour, 
because we all love sparkles and I'm just going to put it on the inner corner of my eye. Why? Sparkles are pretty, that's it. Right, now that doesn't look as atrocious, I am going to put some eyeliner on and also fill in my eyebrows. However, I won't do wings because we're going for a dull look, not how I always do my makeup. So now I'm going to draw the cracks. You can do it however you like. It's completely up to you. I do it with eyeliner because that's what I have. I just have a cheap one for this. You could probably use other stuff. Never tried. So my eyeliner pen is empty, but that's okay because I have a pot of eyeliner. So I'll just use that. She'll buff. So I've done the cracks. Uh, before I add to them, I'm going to draw a line, some lines down here to like a ventriloquist doll. You don't have to, this is optional, but I thought I might as well for something different. Next, I'm going to grab my white liquid lipstick and I'm going to use it to try and make the cracks pop a bit more. Also with my white liquid lipstick, I am going to put it on my bottom lash. Make sure that if you are using liquid lipstick that it is actually eye safe or invest in a white eyeliner pen. The reason for this is because it makes your eyes look a little bigger and dolls have big eyes so you want to give that illusion. And just to make my um, cracks look a bit more defined, I'm going to get a black eyeshadow and dab it over the top gently of the thicker bits. And I can get a smaller brush. We can use this one, it's tiny. I can use that to define the lines. And now that my lipstick is also dry, I'm going to take this sparkly gloss I have because why not? Looks pretty. Sparkly lips are pretty. Why not? It's makeup. Have fun. And most broken dolls have like red, rosy cheeks. You can use a blush for that. I don't actually have a blush, so I'm just going to use the pink on this palette and hope for the best. So before completing this, normally I would chuck on some setting spray, however, as I'm going to take it off, because I'm not going anywhere looking like this today, I won't put that on. However, I will do mascara. Um, if you have fake eyelashes, you can use those because dolls also have really big eyelashes. I don't actually have any eyelashes big enough for this, or eyelash screw for that matter. And that's how you turn yourself into a broken doll using your makeup. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. Thanks guys!